welcome back to another episode of Last Day on Our Survival. Today we return. We have been raided. Luckily, all that they took was a measly little pistol and some weapon parts, as per usual. And guess what? They left footsteps behind. So that's good news, number one. Good news, number two. We got Kafir with the amazing tweet today. The first appearance of a dog was successful, and now we have something way more interesting under development. P.S watch till its very end what are they talking about boom they're talking about this the pupper in our very own grasp and you can see these are interactions with the pupper where we can shake hands with it we can tell it to lie down you can see it looking up to us and it appears that we're going to be able to give the puppy different commands there it goes to standing up i believe it goes into a bark position then it starts to sit and here you can see the dog as a very eatsy teensy puppy followed by the phrase let's survive together and that leaves me with a couple of questions mainly regarding what what is Kafir talking about when they said watch till the end? There's two possible things that they're talking about. It's either the end text, let's survive together, or it's the fact that we're going to get this dog as a puppy and we will be able to watch it grow. And hopefully the dog will also be available and possible to actually help us in the terms of combat. That would be very useful to have a little bit of a companion, even if he just does like a little bit of damage. Still, it'd be cool to have the dog chill. But this is awesome news and awesome confirmation because this pretty much shows that the Chinese New your event was kind of like initially a test to just kind of test out the dog make sure all's working well and here you can see that they've already developed a good amount of commands to the dog so i'm guessing the only things left that they have to do is potentially get the growing mechanic in from getting it to a puppy to a big fella probably through getting xp with us so like doing shenanigans or something like that but also potentially they have to implement like its attack mechanics and stuff because i i don't think the dog's just gonna be there to pet and have stuff either it's gonna be able to attack enemies too and do a little bit of extra damage Nothing super crazy, but a little bit. Or option number two is maybe it'll be able to like hold stuff. You know, maybe you can give it like a little little doggy backpack. Oh, that just sounds adorable. But I uh, give it a little doggy backpack and it'll have a couple of extra inventory slots for you. Or maybe it'll be able to like track down and dig up like, you know, how dogs dig up bones and stuff. Maybe it'll be able to track down like chests that you wouldn't be able to find before. And maybe it'll just be very useful in future things. Maybe you take him along for raids and he can kind of like help you out in terms of like, I don't know, maybe quote unquote sniffing out which chests have certain stuff that'd be a really cool mechanic that i would love to see but i'd love to hear from you guys in the comments section down below what you think regarding this what you think regarding my hypotheses as well remind me that comments which are there the way into the biggest five dollar at soon slash play store gift card giveaway all you gotta do as well is make sure that like button make sure you're subscribed boom you will be entered in on this video boom y'all can enter it on every last day on earth video past present and future even interdimensional man y'all doing some rick and morty stuff go to another dimension go enter there at triple dog there yeah but uh, you guys can do that and then when saturday rolls around i'll pick a random video from the past week pick a random comment from the random video and that will be the winner and bonus points because uh well every week there's a new weekly giveaway so so, uh, awesome sauce there but i'd love to hear your guys's ideas regarding the dog and even that phrase because when it says let's survive together at the end i i think that they are hinting towards just kind of the fact that the dog will be a puppy that's what they wanted to watch till to the end but they did say let's survive together so either that's saying let's survive together with the dog or maybe that's hinting towards let's survive together just like in general with you know friends aka stuff like co-op that's entirely something that i can see happening so there's definitely a lot of information to extract uh, this little tweet so bless up to Kafir for blessing our faces with something so marvelous today that is honestly pretty pretty swagalicious and I'm very excited especially because I don't know dude it's just, it's just gonna be awesome to have a dog lying around but uh, like I was saying I'd love to hear from y'all in the comment section down below regarding that and uh, I would also Love to hear from y'all how this raid will hopefully be going because, oh, dude, that dog it just looks so adorable. I wonder how we're going to find it, too. That's another thing I'd love to hear from you guys as a hypothesis. Maybe there will be like a special event. Maybe the end of the Chinese New Year. There will be an opportunity to maybe the end of the Chinese New Year will add in the first opportunity to maybe you find them in random zones. There's so many cool potential ways that they could do this. And I'm just so excited to see like every single one of them unfold because it's just so promising. Man, we get the pet because everyone was like, oh, well, it's going to it's going to be months till we get the dog. I don't know, dude. We are seeing the dog with in-game mechanics. I think months is a little bit overkill, especially with this teaser. I do think that the dog is a bit more of a complicated system than some people might think. 
think, though, because this dog is pretty much going to be a, our first glorified companion that will be able to go with us everywhere, hopefully, if they flesh it out to that point. So I can definitely see it taking a good amount of work because we've never had a companion that goes with us everywhere. You know what I mean? And uh, hello, fireworks event. Why don't we, before we go and raid and make that dude's day super poopay, why don't we go say hello to the firework field? Because, uh, well, the old man's over here. I actually just checked right before I recorded this video. Uh, I went on over there, and unfortunately, it, it hasn't technically been 24 hours, but I'm pretty sure the quests are the same every day from what I was hearing from you guys. So uh, what we're going to be doing here with the quest being the same every day is I think the fireworks event from what people were saying as well it spawns twice a day once initially and then once again after the three hour timer is up so I want to knock it out once here and then in three hours I'll knock it out again and that should give us the six fish and six lanterns that we do require without having to go through the hassle of normal zones which is really awesome because there's an event way of doing the event stuff not like the green tea where you had to go to events and not go to events but go to random zones and knock it out uh here it's a little bit different here it's like all right you can get everything from the firework field which is pretty sick speaking of that let's go and see some sick explosions shall we hello friends how do you do come over hither so i can blow you up oh barely timed that one perfectly yeah done no son yeah done no and of course they ain't dropping nothing the jang shi over here and uh the frozen bloater bless up that that frozen bloater is actually really easy too there are frozen bloaters in this game that uh, have like 300 health are glorified vampires and uh really hurt and are very fast that exist in the true north uh yeah those are quite spoopy but fireworks on the other hand not spoopy at all they're pretty swag delicious so why don't we kite everyone over here sure we might need to withstand a little bit of damage but it shouldn't be too bad light the fireworks there and as soon as you see the red start running and we got most of them we got most of them the rest here we can clear up the zhang shi we surprisingly enough do 12 damage to wait the torch does 12 damage yo i always thought it did six for some reason that's weird all right well i guess that my, my entire world view has just changed now the torches do twice as much damage as i thought they did things will never be the same but uh even if they won't be the same at least we'll still keep looting chests the same way keep on getting that amazing loot the thing is like yeah uh, they're pretty much like glorified green zone yellow zone red zone chests with the loot that you get besides the seasonal slash event stuff but i mean the holiday gold bars are really good for turning in same with the citrus to the dealer and maybe we'll try to even pay the dealer a little bit of a visit because i do have some stuff at home maybe the raid maybe we'll raid some dude celebrating chinese new year you never know boys and girls and okay this is gonna blow 200 damage to yo um Problem is, we did not kite these dudes over, so let's do the finishing blows on these guys. Get the torch to finish you off, and then we'll get the frozen bloater here. You guys can see that we do do less damage to this frozen bloater, though. Oddly enough, which is very weird, because that's exactly how the frozen bloaters work up north. But they also have way more health. So these are kind of like mini frozen bloaters, I guess, even though they're not technically called that. It's pretty much what they are. But uh, with that... Let's get the last chest. And you guys can actually see that I'm pretty sure there is one last firework. I think they're uh, hello, like what I see there, and a little bit of agua as well. I guys can see there is one more crate with fireworks. So it looks like you get four crates for fireworks. I thought it was three before. You actually get four crates for fireworks. And, uh, but you only have to use three of them, technically. But uh, for the sake of Chinese New Year, for the sake of fireworks, Mazel Tov! God, I love me some fireworks, and I don't think Mazel Tov has anything to do with Chinese New Year. But it's a fun, fun thing to say, and I've seen it in movies and stuff. I think, isn't it like, it's, ah, uh, isn't it like something for, like, good health, I think, in another language? I'm not 100% sure. Don't quote me on this, all right? Freaking language historian star. All right, unfortunately, I'm not getting my PhD here in language history, the history of language, all right? Right now, I'm kind of in college, trying to get that computer science degree. It's going okay. Thank you for asking. I, I appreciate that. Holy hell, can it be a struggle, though? But uh, balancing that in YouTube. But hey, I'm not in a position to complain. It's still insanely amazing that I'm out here able to have the ability to make y'all hopefully have more fan for fantastic days on the day to day. So uh, even if it is, you know, if it even ends up being quite a bit of work on me, because I'm taking the second hardest class this semester of uh, my what I'm majoring in. And uh, whoo, 
Talk about time consuming. Sleep has been few and far in between, but uh, the happiness is more common than ever every time I'm reading your guys' comments, so I'm, I really can't complain. Overall, net positive, I would say. Uh, now then, why don't we put these torches? You know, we can honestly just scrap these torches. They are definitely not necessita. Uh, instead, oh, we can also probably, uh, well, we can equip that. We can scrap that. Hopefully, we got one more silenced gun somewhere. Yo, hold on. Do you guys see this? Package number 1392010. Getting ready for the year of the dog. Uh, that's a very weird chest with just lots of wood and stone and some gold. I've never seen anything quite like that. You can see it. it's a Chinese. Are they going to have a new one? I'm, I'm going to try to keep my eyes peeled on that. Was there one of those yesterday? Would you guys mind letting me know? Because I I don't think I remember seeing something there. So maybe this is kind of like the new limited tab where they just have like a random new. Th it's such a random number and stuff too. And it's like getting ready for the year of the dog. What does that mean? Are we going to need wood and all that stuff for some of our shenanigans to come? I think that we might, but okay, let me soup on the quickity lickety split. A hey, get that fully modded AK, AKA Kalashnikov 47. Marvelous weapon. All right, I might be Polish, right? Eastern European, so Kalashnikov might not be directly in my country, but very close to my heart. Makes, makes me happy. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, why don't we just kind of put a couple of these valuables away here because they will definitely be coming handy a little bit later and uh, ooh, I do mm, I don't mm, I don't want to use the candy to freeze, but there's also something very cool that came with this latest update that maybe I'll be able to show you guys with something Slightly different than what we have first things first. We can put those there and we can put that there and honestly I'll, I'll just take the the red tickets and there we go. We can uh, reorganize some of those things right there Also, is that helmet better than mine? Yeah, that helmet is about to break. Hell yeah, we getting upgrades today, boy. Uh, what is what was that? What was I saying after that? Uh, put this stuff away. And there we go. I'd say inventory is looking pretty solid, but uh, what's your call? I don't even remember what the whatchamacall was. Regardless, let's go and get ourselves a little bit of that revenge raid. Because I am not about to stand for the travesty known as someone attempting to attack. Someone attempting to steal from the base known as mine. Nah, uh uh No, no, no. Not today. Call me the Kembe. No, no, no. <laughs> gotta hit him with the blocks. Gotta, uh, we gotta go. All right. I might not be an NBA player. I might not never lead the NBA in blocks per game, right? But I will lead last day on earth in blocks per game. I will become the Dikembe of this game. And I hope that you guys will support me in my journey. My Kalashnikov, that'll support me. Glock, eh, relatively supportive. Definitely not as amazing as... Hello friends, Kalashnikov 47 here. <laughs> That's about as supportive as it can get. Why? Well, that is absolutely a marvelous gun. Oh no, guys, we we may have been hit with the glitch yet again. We may, oh, are you serious right now, man? Not this glitch, this happened to us last time. Sometimes when you try to revenge raid, they will, uh, your game will just kind of, uh, yeah. Just, just kind of, yeah. I think that has happened to us, so I got to back out for a sec. I got to close out, and I got to come back. And last time this happened, it was really poopy because it automatically gave us, like, a bar and a half of noise. So, uh, hopefully we can fix this and move on with our lives of the raid. Yeah. All right. How about a, uh, take two here? Hopefully this will go a little bit smoother. I, I know that it will probably have already raised our noise meter like last time. Cross your fingers, cross your eyes, cross your legs, cross all your guts. Hopefully, it won't just get stuck again. Please, please work load. Oh, there we go. But like I said, yeah, it raises our noise meter a considerable amount. God dang it, Bobby. How you gonna be doing me like this? And what in tarnation? This dude has like a butt. What? What? What is you up to, baby? Oh my God. We're raiding a freaking like settlement here. We're raiding a city. Well, not a city, but we're raiding like a settlement. We're raiding a town. What is going on? This man's, he has like a bunch of different buildings. Is this the first co-op base that we've seen? I don't think it's the first co-op base, but still, okay. Well, here's, here's, here's what I deduce by where I'm seeing his spikes surrounding. This has to have the best stuff. There is no way that this does not contain the greatest of things. 
It has to be in here, by the way, because he does have a doorway that leads into here. So without further ado, let's uh, break on into that doorway. You ain't keeping no secrets safe from me, Sonny Jim Bob. And hello, we got some chests. Hello, we got a trunk. And hello, probably going to be really disappointed, as is tradition. Uh, okay, actually, no. No, 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 no. This will only be a disappointment at most. And oh god, they're coming already. Forgot. I forgot that we accidentally raised the noise meter with that glitch. No, 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 no. Go away fast by pairs. Eat a bullet in your face. You can have one to floater bloater. What a what a beautiful ballad there sung by by yours truly. Still, like, at worst, I'd say with some of the things we just acquired, it won't be the huge disappointment. Worst case, it'll be a disappointment, because, I mean, as much as I like guns, listen, I'm here for the big ticket items. All right, an M16 and a couple Glocks ain't the big ticket we're looking for. Also, not the big ticket here. This is kind of like a moderate ticket. Maybe like, uh, maybe, maybe like a slightly bad ticket, but I'd say like moderate right now. Uh, is this... I'm, I'm tempted to go loot some other places, too. I don't know if we should put all of our eggs in this basket, but... I don't know, my dude. I, I feel like he built these to trick the raiders. So just because I consider myself a raider, uh, for the sake of science, do you lead to anything? I'm actually very curious here. Does this, uh... Actually, yes, it does. Oh, there's a chest there, too, you say. There's no way he has his best stuff in that chest. Although, I can't say that I'm I'm, I'm intrigued. I'll, I will look into it a little bit. As soon as I am done looking into the deaths of these abominations and bloaters thinking they can come after me. Nine, my friend. Nine. The number nine. No, nine. That's what I meant. Uh, oh, he's got a little, little table there in the corner, too. I wonder. Does this have anything good? If this has nothing good, I, I don't like our odds. I don't like our chances. Uh, mm, just a ton of wood. Yeah. I don't think his best stuff is going to be in these random little places. I think that it, it it has to be in the one that he protects the most. That only makes sense. Like, why? Like, you're not going to... Okay, actually, hold on. This is like level two stuff here that we can almost sneak into. Mm. You caught my attention, good sir. I am intrigued. Very. It's gonna make a little bit more noise than I think we'd like to make, but so be it. It'll also help us carry to one of these axes, all things considered, so I guess that's kind of nice. Uh, let's make a little bit of noise then. Oh my god, dude, we've already- That's- I hate- I hate that glitch, man. This is honestly turning out to be a slightly promising raid, and it's just going straight down the pooper. Like, don't get me wrong. And because here's my game plan at the end, I'm gonna run over here. And try to collect all this stuff. I know the big one will teleport to us. I know that I'm also missing pants. Oh dear God, I need some pants. Uh, but what is it? Let's let's equip that right away too. Yeah, I'll be ready to deal with this next way. But the big one's gonna teleport to us, and hopefully we'll be able to raid those uh, last second, kind of, sorta. Uh, did we loot any food? I am feeling hungry, hungry hippo. I'm a hungry, hungry hippo. Short and stout. Here is my hippopotamus. Here is my snout kind of flows eh, eh. might as well get some of these all right i do hear the dogs they're coming after us they're they're sicking them on us oh man we got the toxic abominations to deal with first i just want to try and keep my armor in good shape i don't want my armor to completely break this is kind of what i'm worried about how many abominations was that what the is that four abominations or did i just lose track oh i i swear we just killed four abominations ay 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 that's not good but I, I kind of low-key do have a good feeling about the uh, place down south. We might we might try to check that out here. Hey, okay, we're getting a couple of couple of redeeming qualities. The baked beans, of course. Listen, I just want to leave the largest fart known to mankind before I leave. 15 cans of beans. Let me just say, that's a concoction that you're not gonna want to stick around for, right? Especially once my uh, body is done processing it, so to speak. <laughs> Hey, all right, this is a bit of a redeeming quality. I still have way too many green tickets that I know what to do with those, so I ain't too worried with that. Uh, there's still like three more chests for us to loot. I think on the second one, we will trigger the big one. Here's the thing, I don't, uh, he's still not coming. Oh, dude, he's a sliver away, boy, he's a sliver away. But luckily for us, 
we should be able to go here relatively in peace because zombies cannot get through this little crevasse right there. That crevasse is the crevasse of victory. That just sounds weird saying, but it is the crevasse of victory. I kid you not. What it allows us to do is achieve, well, victory because zombies actually cannot move through there. I think it's like barely big enough for us, but apparently it's not big enough for the zombies. So we just have to be careful and zombies shouldn't like go over there a ton too, but it might happen. I mean, worst case we do like, I don't know. Maybe they patched it. There have been some updates We're in, we are on 1.7.6 now. So this could come back to backfire on us and man, not too great. And hey, hey big one. How, how you doing there, buddy? How, how is you? Can he hurt us? Ah, oh, he can hurt us. Okay. We're not looting that thing anytime soon. He's also kind of in the way of the entrance. Oh, actually, we can uh, we can lure him away really quickly and then run for the hills. We ain't surviving this raid status. I don't know. Could have been better. We got some guns out of it, though. Hey, listen, I'm not a man to look a gift horse in the mouth and be like, give me more guns. Because A, I don't know why a gift horse would give me more guns. B, I don't know who gifts horses in this day and age. And C, why the hell would I look it in the mouth? I think there's actually like some old kind of, I think it, it has to do with like, low key. I think I remember this from like a random history class, a random lesson. For some reason, it just stuck with me. Something, something about all of the, 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 the just horses, man. Fascinate me, apparently. I think they do it because like, that's how you check if it's like diseased or how healthy it is. Fun fact of the day that someone who actually knows stuff about horses will probably correct me on and give me the true facts, but hey, I appreciate that because that makes all of us a little bit more knowledgeable on this blessed day. Now then, lucky for us, we don't have to hand over any of our loot to those dirty, dirty little raiders. Nah, they ain't getting none of this. Uh, what we do have to do, though, is find a way to organize our god-awfully unorganized inventory, which currently is not looking too good. I know we could have probably grabbed a couple more things, too, but... Yeah, good, good enough, right? Good enough for something along those lines. Anyways, though, we should be able to do now... Uh, that, I'll leave two guns for the offering. Maybe, maybe if we leave them more stuff, maybe they'll lead us to a better base. So here, I have my almost broken Glock. I know... Listen, that thing's got probably two shots left. That's like 48 damage. I mean, I guess I could break it with, but I gotta burp a little bit and it ain't really worth it. Ah. Now then, why don't we get some of those holiday things that we do require between the gold bars, which I think give us nine points each, and the kumquat, which gives us, I think, three points a pop, maybe one point a pop. We're definitely leaving those two things without a freaking doubt. And we will put some guns away. And we will make a little bit more of an organized effort as soon as uh, probably afterwards of the video. And God, dude, I, you know what else I love about holidays? Like, I know this is probably like, it's it might sound stupid. It might sound dumb, but you know, dude, I, I, I love when our houses get like festive like this. You know, it's like, I, I like all the bright red. The walls are looking cool. And it's like, I don't know, man. It's 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 very underappreciated, I guess, for, for lack of better words. But I like a lot. Oh, speaking of things I like a lot, yo. Make sure y'all check out that second video today. All right, we played something pretty crazy. We played PUBG, you know, the OG Battle Royale game. Uh, it's not the super OG, but it's pretty much what's, it blew up the most biggest Battle Royale game in history. Uh, it's pretty much what started the whole Battle Royale craze. Uh, yeah, there's a mobile version that came out very recently, and I'm not gonna say much more besides the fact it's a good gameplay. Y'all should check it out. Shameless plug and, uh, I think, I think that about covers it, and ooh, we might need to pay a quick pit stop, boys, because I'm not the type of man to leave something like this behind, and this pistol literally has one shot left in it. I will just toss that. All right. I know you could, I know I could have brought it home. If I ever finished the gun bench, I could have used it on that, but y'all got to understand right now, I already had like three chests full of low quality pistols. All right. So one even lower quality one, that won't, that won't break the bank out here. You know what I'm saying? But uh, let's see what this chopper has. See if we could get anything handy out of there. Then we head to the dealer and then we have a marvelous time. Yes. Yes. I like. I like it a lot. Ooh, baby, baby. <laughs> All right, so let's see what these guys get. But yeah, definitely check that out. I'm also gonna hopefully try to get a third video out today. Uh, it's just been a little bit of a crazy hectic week because I have uh, three, yeah, three midterms this week, which I got the first out the way, did it hopefully well. Second one shouldn't be too bad, but then I have a math midterm and 
We learning some not so easy stuff in math this semester, boy. That I can say. And I really hope this armor lasts because we are about to take a lot of damage. If it doesn't, oh, finish him before he finishes us. Okay, we gotta heal up a little bit. Oh, oh no, 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 oh God. We're almost fully naked. Oh, finish him before he finishes us. Is everyone dead? Oh, bless up. Yeah, I, I will take some clothing, articles, whatever you got. Give it to me. I need the clothing now. Very badly after what just occurred. Hey, I'll take that shotgun too, baby. Why don't we try to gather these band-aids and stuff? Uh, I wasn't expecting to go here, so I kind of didn't bring the uh, most inventory room. But let's see. The, at the end of the day, the big reason we go here is for a chance at the scuba mask. Now, the question is, will we acquire the chance? And right now, eh, it's not looking too great. What we can do for sure, definitely, at the very least, toss that into our hot bar because we... We really had to use some first aid kits today. I'm actually shocked. We used way more than I expected. No whammy, cross it all for me. The scuba mask is not happening today. That's okay. I, I never really expect it to happen. I've I've gotten used to my hopes and dreams being 50 shades of freaking shattered every day that I come to this event. God dang it, Bobby. God dang it. All right, well, at least we got the full gas there. We got 10 extra gas to go. We got a little bit of the rifle ammo. Well, not really ammo. We can't really get ammo in this game, but it's a rifle that has durability. So technically, technically speaking, the durability is ammo. So, uh, whatcha? Get technicality, boys. And of course, and gals, boys and girls, guys and gals, all of y'all. Uh, let's see if we get disappointed by this pickup truck. This thing is literally the most garbage loot in the world, though. So I never have high expectations for that. My expectations for that are usually as low as an expectation can physically be. Now, I've never played expectation limbo, so I don't know how low it can go, right? But hey, I, I imagine that those expectations, like, it's expectations could get low, boys. Yeah, they can. Like my expectations for hopefully something good out of the dealer. But here's the thing, we might end up wasting something we get from the dealer. And you guys will understand why here in a sec it's for the sake of science and because i want to show you guys this really cool nifty feature that apparently came in 1.7.6 or one point i don't know if it was 1.7.5 because i don't know if ios had the feature when this update came to them but i think ios is on 1.7.62 like two as in as well now and i think what this adds is the ability to do something awesome now, i just i just mm, i don't want to waste i i wonder if there's like a cheap way that we could do it because what happens is whenever you use anything that gives you a status effect you know it's like maybe more critical damage for 10 minutes or something it actually pops up on your uh, on your screen which is really cool so that's why we might need to waste a little bit here but uh, we can get those in there got us a ton of points a couple of kumquats and i would love to get some of these things like the long range extra damage gives three exp points but Let's take that, and uh, for the sake of science, really quickly, what we can do here is, uh, well, why don't we head on over to a little location, try it out a little bit at the very least before we absolutely blow through it, which is exactly what we are about to do. And uh, yeah, all will be well done. We can definitely save this for a better occasion, but so be it, man. Gotta roll with the dice you're given, and I'm out here playing Yahtzee. So I'm, I'm definitely not the type of person to be like, oh, I don't, I don't, I don't want to do that. Uh, Oh, this is new. We can inform you when you reach your destination points. Make this happen. Give your consent to receive notifications in the next window. So that's apparently a thing. I think that was always a thing, but now they made it optional where you get a notification when you do arrive to your new location when you're walking. So that's kind of cool that they're asking for permission, I guess. You know, got to gotta sign the permission slip, something like that, something along those lines. But let's head into the red zone, use some of these extra weaponry we've acquired and show off exactly what this does and how it works. I think it works the same as a Christmas event where critical damage counts as triple. So it'd be really good with the VSS. You have the potential dude 150. I don't know if you can do it with a shotgun. I suppose we shall find out. Hopefully we don't get swarmed like right away by all these random things, but you can see we eat it and then boom, check that out. Chance to inflict critical damage with firearms. It actually has a tracker in your inventory, which is freaking awesome, man. Now, why don't we track some heads over here and show what this critical damage is capable of? Hello, fast spider. All right, none of these are happening. Is the pistol not long away? Oh, there we go. Look at that 60 damage on the doubt. Again, it's just a chance of happening. Same as always, but uh, it's 
pop some turkeys while we're at it. We got a big old abomination. Oh, there we go. We're gonna get a couple of hits off on him. And down the drain he goes. And we got another abomination we can do. So very awesome that we can collect this through the shenanigans of the event, especially because kumquats and the gold bar things. I mean, as you continue doing the fireworks event more especially, you get three gold bars out of that thing at nine a pop. That's like 27 points. Every three firework events, you pretty much get a guaranteed buff. However, they're not going to stick around, so don't hoard them, at least from what Kafir said. But so uh, with that, I think that is actually a great point for us to go ahead and end this video off on because I need to start sprinting to class. <laughs> but uh, definitely check out the uh, other video coming out today of PUBG. I'm actually very excited for that, and I really hope you guys will enjoy it. I'd love to see support on that. That would be absolute, no, absolute freaking amazing. Gotta stop using the tootalootly. That's just yeah, but uh, best of luck to you guys join the Chopper Squad. Best of luck in your Chinese New Year shenanigans and in your raid shenanigans. Hopefully they go a little bit smoother than mine have been going lately. Like with this last raid, I think we're on the up and up a little bit, but definitely, uh, definitely a little bit, li little bit to go. <laughs> but uh, best of luck to you guys with that. Best of luck in the Chopper. And most importantly, best of luck in having as fan freaking tastic of a day as humanly possible. But that's going to wrap it up for me for now. Thank you guys for all the time for watching. Have yourselves an awesome one. And I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.